In this video, it's Saskia's eight month update. Hi everyone, so Saskia is now eight months old. She is crawling around here, so you might maybe hear her rattling on. I feel like mm, at five months old and at seven months old, no, <laughs> I feel like at five months old and at seven months old, she um, hit a lot of milestones. Um, so last month, now that she's eight months old, she can now crawl around like a maniac. She can crawl around everywhere. She just gets to wherever she wants to be, follows you around the house. Um, she's climbing everything, pulling herself up. She's just recently started cruising along the sofa. Um, so she thinks she can walk. Hello. <laughs> thinks she can walk. Um, it is very scary. You're not my little baby anymore and you're just getting around everywhere. <laughs> Um, so the last time we got her weighed, she weighed um, 15 pounds five um, and she'd only actually put on three ounces in six weeks because she was unwell. Um, so that's why she hadn't put on weight. So when we got her weighed last week, she's 16 pounds eight now. So she'd put on over a pound in four weeks and she's back on track. So we're very happy about that. Um, she's actually just within the past two weeks or so really started enjoying her food. Uh, she wasn't a fan of food. She just didn't get it. She just want milk. Um, but now she's enjoying it. She likes quiche. She likes pasta. And I think chicken and bacon tortellini, tortelloni, whatever it is, is her favourite. <laughs> uh, she likes yogurts, she's really enjoying yogurts, basically just anything she can get her hands on really, it's quite fun. <laughs> Sleeping wise, she was still waking up every one to two hours and we think that was just because we held her to go to sleep, I didn't like leaving her to cry, so the past few days we have been a bit more strict with laying her down in her cot and letting her go off by herself just because every one to two hours in the middle of the night and not napping during the day it was making her very grumpy um and it just it, it's better if she can get more sleep she's happier during the day she can do more things and i think it's just worked out better i mean i hate leaving her to cry i don't leave her to cry for long if i'm honest <laughs> But the past two nights, she has slept the whole night. We noticed when the first few nights we started to leave her in her cot, she did sleep for longer um, when she'd fallen asleep on her own. But in the past two nights, she actually slept the whole night and we couldn't believe it. <laughs> Last night, it was really good because she only cried for maybe 30 seconds when I walked out the room and that was at about 7.30 and then she woke up at 8.30 the next day. Well, that was pretty amazing. She did have swimming the day before, so I'm thinking that my, may have tired, tired her out a little bit as well. So touching on swimming, we have had five lessons. I think we've had five lessons um, and she loves it. She's really enjoying it. She goes underwater. I believe next week we're releasing them underwater. <sighs> <laughs> which um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to, but I know it is good for her. She likes it and she's getting good at it. <laughs> um, we're gonna book her underwater photos uh, for a couple of weeks time, I think. So we're gonna get that done. <laughs> and then we've already booked her on for next term, which I think will take us up to mid-March. You Have you got ants in your pants? Go play. Look, there's your toy over there. Whoo! <laughs> when she was little, I was excited for her to get mobile and crawl because she was just so frustrated that she couldn't go off and get the things she wanted to get. And now that she's crawling and climbing, I'm like, can you sit down for two seconds? 
she is in six to nine month clothing. Um, some of them are still a bit big, three to six months sort of fits it. I wouldn't say perfect, but they do fit well. Um, I think it depends what she's wearing and where they're from. It's crazy how uh, different things can differ from different shops. Um, but like this is a three to six baby girl and it is, you know, it just, it's a nice fit. <laughs> um, my little baby. <laughs> um, vests, she can still fit into naught to three. <laughs> Um, I believe, I think she was still wearing some 0-3 uh, leggings, 0-3 um, tights, which is insane. I mean, you're eight months old. <laughs> oh, looky here. She's a chatterbox. You're still a chatterbox, aren't you? Yeah. Do you want to sit? And do you want to talk? There you go. Sit there. There you go. Who's that in there? Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh, I know it's grey outside. I'm not sure how this video will actually look because the weather is so... <laughs> the weather is so miserable outside. But hopefully it's okay. Hello. <laughs> Let me move you just a smidgen. There you go. <laughs> um, when my husband gets time off work, we plan to take her to um, a soft play now that she's crawling and climbing. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I'd like to take her to a little water park as well, the ones where they have baby pools. Um, just so Daddy can get a chance to go in the pool with her. I think that will be good. Um, and I'm honestly just so, so excited for Christmas. I'm actually going Christmas shopping tomorrow to get a few extra bits um, but then I will be finished my Christmas shopping and then don't pull the shelves over <laughs> and then it will just be a case of putting the Christmas tree up and doing everything Christmassy, Christmas markets, everything I, I just love Christmas. Christmas Eve, Christmas pyjamas, the movies, hot chocolates, it's going to be great. So I just thought I'd do a quick little update now that Saskia is eight months old. Um, as you can tell, she doesn't want to sit still for longer than two seconds. So we're going to go. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>